Hey, Pat Kane here from the Museum of the Grand Prairie. What's up, everybody? Ready to take you on another virtual tour, this time looking at the exhibit in our basement, Champaign County's Lincoln. Take a ride with Abe Lincoln in this buggy as he travels along the 8th Judicial Circuit by horseback and see just what he may have saw when he was traveling across the prairie. Next, we step into Kelly's Tavern. It was located in what is now St. Joseph, Illinois, but Abe Lincoln and many other folks would stay at taverns, much like we do today, staying at hotels, spending the night getting a few good meals in before they're off on their next journey. Then we take a look at what the landscape may have looked like as Abe Lincoln traveled on the 8th Judicial Circuit, what uh, sorts of plants and wildlife he may have seen, as well as a lot of agricultural activity taking place in central Illinois. Next, we take a look at the growth Champaign County had in the middle of the 19th century, uh, right around when Abraham Lincoln was traveling through on the 8th Judicial Circuit practicing law. Uh, we look at the growth of cities such as Urbana and West Urbana, which is now known as Champaign, as well as a few things that were present in those towns, including the courthouse in Urbana, where Abraham Lincoln tried many cases, um, including a number of cases dealing with the Illinois Central Railroad, as well as uh, the very first murder trial ever tried in Champaign County, the court-appointed defense lawyer was Abraham Lincoln himself. Let's take a step into Samuel Allshuler's photography studio. It was located in downtown Urbana, currently where a Busey Bank is located in downtown Urbana. This photography studio took many photos of many individuals in Champaign County, including Abraham Lincoln himself. This photo, taken right here, was taken in Samuel Allshuler's photography studio in Urbana in the middle of the 19th century, and this was the third ever photo taken of Abraham Lincoln. Moose Pond Church, this abolitionist church that was once located in Champaign County, where the Champaign Police Station is located now, was a spot where many individuals, including Abraham Lincoln, would come to speak about major political topics. Abraham Lincoln came to talk about John C. Fremont and the support of that political candidate in uh, 1856. A number of political topics were spoken about at the Goose Pond Church, hot topics at the time, including things such as temperance, education, immigration, and slavery. Let's take a look at Abraham Lincoln's old friend, BF, or Benjamin Franklin Harris. Benjamin Franklin Harris was a multi-talented individual who made a bulk of his fortune raising cattle in Champaign County. Um, uh, BF Harris founded what is uh, the Cattle Bank, where the Champaign County History Museum is now located. Um, in sh downtown Champaign, and B.F. Harris was a good friend of Abe Lincoln. It's believed that B.F., this guy right here, um, and uh, Abe Lincoln were good friends, and Abe would stay at his house multiple times. His house located right here in Muhammad, Illinois, here in Champaign County. And once Abraham Lincoln became president of the United States of America, the 16th president of the United States, one of the first friends he invited out to the White House was his good friend from Central Illinois, B.F. Harris. Since Abraham Lincoln was a major leader during the United States Civil War era, we chose to focus one of the last sections of this exhibit on Champaign County's involvement in the United States Civil War. Some things featured in this section include all of the names of 2,276 men who fought on the Union side from Champaign County, right here in Champaign County. One of those men, including Colonel Samuel T. Busey of the Busey Bank family, including some of his swords, ceremonial swords, uh, one sword that he also used in battle hanging in this section of the exhibit. Uh, there was a large effort from Champaign County to go and fight in the U.S. Civil War, and that is represented in this section of the exhibit. The last section of this exhibit looks at that infamous day, Saturday, April 15, 1865, when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated at Ford's Theater. A few things featured in this section of the exhibit include a couple stories of individuals learning of Abraham Lincoln's assassination by way of telegraph. Also, we have this stereoscope that you can look through to look at the funeral procession of President Lincoln as it happened in New York on April 25th, 1865. All right, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions about what you saw, you wanna know some more information, please, please, please leave a comment in the comment section. We'll do our best to answer your questions, hopefully give you some more information on this awesome exhibit, Champaign County's Lincoln. Thanks again for watching, hope to have you watch more videos.